Get your alternator from JS Alternators or fuck off. Love the chase and the hunt and I set the pace when I'm running. Right, what's up guys? It's Wednesday morning. No, Tuesday morning. My bad, Tuesday. Wishing a week away, bro. Yesterday we finally got that white Jeep out of here. I wound up putting uh components in the front and then the sound bar of it, we got it out. Currently we ain't got anything going on. I did go see my barber. <laughs> Fresh. Uh and Dustin's working on his A-pillars. He always does fancier shit than I do. Like, What do you know? I can't make it loud, so I got to make it pretty. <laughs> and I learned something from him. Paint sticks rather than dowel rods. So, anyway, uh, what I'm doing here, I put a new alarm in. It's the same brand alarm I always run, so really all I had to do is put a new brain in. And at Ruckus Show years ago, Deb, I had my my fat boy regulator wired up to where um, the uh, it was the, the volt meter was wired to the battery in the back, and I told her to bump the voltage up to like sixteen two. But she kept turning the knob; it wasn't going to go no higher because it wasn't reading what alternators were putting out. It was reading battery. Long story short, twenty four volt blew everything. It actually melted the uh, door lock actuators. So here I am, redoing all that. I put new door lock actuators and everything. Come to find out, since I put these doors on here off of 2000, the latch had the actuators built in it. So I went back and wired that up. So now I only need three, two for the back door, one for the hatch. And uh, these things never really came with uh, like a remote lock, but I put an actuator in here. So I can, it'll unlock all doors with the remote. So that's where I'm at. I see I glued my two relays together for my ground signals coming from the alarm. Yeah, I, if you know, if you want to know how to wire that up, I can I can teach you that too. But uh, now I got a wiring mess in here. Let me flip this around. Yeah. I'm going through trying to clean all that wiring up. And I haven't had the door locks in here hooked up since the old build when it was 415s. So that'll tell you how long. I've had a brand new alarm at the house since that happened that I've never put in it. <laughs> I've had this thing at many shows with no alarm. <laughs> it's just, I'm relying on the courtesy of other base heads uh, to keep my shit safe. <clears throat> but now it's going to have the alarm back in it for ruckus. And I've been really wanting it for my lock and unlock with the remote, my remote start, like all that shit I've been like wanting. So that's where I'm at guys. Uh, I'm here wiring all this up and I figured since I put them power windows in the back, it would be a great time to do it. So that's all we got going. I've been playing some new music from uh, DJ Dirty Bass. He's made me a couple tracks that are kind of stupid in here. And that's about it. I wish it looked better back here for Ruckus, but honestly, when you all get them demos of them lows, I don't think you're going to give a shit what it looks like. Uh, hopefully after Ruckus, after we do a couple builds, me and Dustin can sit down one day and he can tell me how to make shit pretty. Yeah. <laughs> so, pick and pull has some door panels that are in really good condition that are really nice then i need to i didn't even tighten them screws up shit but they have a really nice set of door panels that i'm thinking about going back saturday and getting if they're still there to put on here and other than that i don't know i mean i don't even have one of these for the other side yeah I don't know. I don't have a hole there. I have a door panel on it, though. But that's all I got, guys. I'll be back later after I get this shit done. <clears throat> so my shit's locking and unlocking. Except for this driver front door ain't doing nothing. Uh, and this door, I got to remake my rod that goes from here to up here. I might 
flip it over and put this on the bottom because it was pushing the rod out of here. So I got a new rod here. I got to put in, mark where to bend it, cut it, all that shit. So I got a little pair of bolt cutters to cut it with. Yay. But other than that, that's working. And the polarity was wrong on a lot of it. That front door, the polarity was good. That was wrong. This was wrong. That was wrong. So I swapped all them. Now I got to dig in that front door. Uh, the alarm is working. After that, I'm just going to have to go in and uh, probably adjust my shock sensor. And there's a function on these alarms. Like, I love these alarms because you get a lot of features for like 100, 150 bucks. It's old Amazon Easy Guard. I've used them, had really good luck with them. But the problem is the instructions in here are really vague. Two things I don't like about the alarm. One, the factory setting on it is when you turn the key on, it automatically locks all the doors. I hate that. Especially in here where I don't have any way to unlock the door. So that's a pain in the ass to turn off. Number two, the one thing I hate about these easy guards, I love the price on them and, and the quality, they, they work great. But one thing I do not like about them is they don't have a ground when armed output. Now you're probably like, what the hell is that good for? It's good for a lot of shit. Uh, you can use that on a five pin relay to basically uh, make it to where when you arm the alarm, it sends the ground signal out to trip the relay to open the circuit so the starter won't engage. Uh, you can use it to turn a lot of shit on or a lot of shit off if you want to. And when you learn how to like work with relays and wiring and all kind of shit, you'll get really accustomed to using that armed or that ground when armed trigger wire. But other than that, I really like them. And the reason I went back with it is I have two somewhere, but I still have my old remote for the alarm I just took out. And the instructions tell me how to program that. And it comes with two remotes like this. So now I got three. I got four. I got a fort somewhere. I just don't know where the hell where. No, I don't either. Deb lost her keys one day and it had one on it. Yeah, she lost her keys. We never found them. So anyway, I do only have three. But anyway, Dustin is getting ready to tin a window. Damn, I about tripped and fell. Uh, anyway, yeah, I'm going to get my ass back to work before I just keep looking stupid on camera. Peace. So, for the most part, I am done with this thing. Now, got my little thing here. We arm it, it beep, lock. Huh, I just hit the, the, the thing and, and, okay, so, like, we lock. We lock. I hit this arm, and I can get in it. Yay! So... That's, that's good for me, I guess. What the hell? Talk too damn soon. Look, I, I did. I talked too much shit too fast. So, this, this son of a bitch here didn't, uh, didn't unlock for some reason. Let me hit it again. Yep, and see, that's why I put power windows in there. So, I got to get off here and figure out why that one is being a douche. But we did lock. So let's check. Works. Works. Okay, so now I got to get in over there and figure out what the hell went wrong. I ain't going to believe this shit. Roll the window down, which is why I put the damn power window shit there. Reach in, get this door open. Now, this son of a bitch has been open, open and closed and perfect. I, I've done nothing to it. So I, I don't know. I did lube up the old mechanism in there a little bit. It, it, I think that helped, but anyway, that's pretty much the extent of my day. Like I have not done much except for fuck with Jangalang. 
which slow day, it happens. So other than that, uh, I don't really have shit going on. So if something exciting happens tomorrow, I'll film that shit. What up, guys? What up, what up? We're here with Zach. Uh, Zach, Zach's just somebody I met hanging out up here at the, the tent shop. He's cool as shit, though. And if he wouldn't have had to glue this, uh, this on his A-pillars look dope as shit, guys. They look dope. I'm just trying to, to, to find a little bit of content. It's Thursday morning. Trying to find some content to finish out this damn video so I can upload it tonight. So, what better way than to put Zach in it? What are you? He got big shit going on in here. We getting there, we getting there. <laughs> he building a console in the back for like four 12s. So that shit should be kicking. I found a, a pack unit inside our door jam. But other than that, I don't know, guys. We just trying to finish out some video footage. That's yeah, I'll be here. back. If you remember a couple videos ago, Dustin was narrowing a rear seat. And that's for this truck. Like, literally took the seat apart and narrowed the frame. The upholstery shop has the seat now. They're reupholstering it so his console can go through the rear. And we've all sit here, like, a couple of different times designing the enclosure for the back of this like helping Zach go over the numbers and shit. So this should be a pretty, pretty decent little truck when he gets it done. Uh, we're trying to talk him into doing a blow through, but he won't do it. But I ain't doing it. <laughs> he's got an audio ace truck. So he's one of them audio ace guys. And he does have some scar in here. Yeah, your stunt wall's got some scar oh, in yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, he's got a little stunt wall back it, here. It filmed the other day whenever I took off from the red light. <laughs> I need to fix it. Yeah, he got it. It ah, fell ah. over, but he got some scar tweeters in that bitch. <laughs> I was giving him shit about it. But then again, I had scar. Yeah, there you go. That's his little stunt wall. I know. What, 14s, 412s? 412s. 412s. Damn. Yeah. And he's got a Tahoe that he's going to be doing a big build in, but he's wanting to play with his little daily driver first, so. Anyway, it's all good, guys. Uh, I don't know how much more footage I'm going to get. Cause I do need to get a midweek video out there. And I've been slacking. But it's all good. I got the old steamer plugged in. I've already done one of these this morning. But this is some cheap tent right here. Look at this. That line is where the tent stayed up in here during the day. And it just faded bad. Uh, you can't even hardly see it here anymore. <sighs> They did a two-piece on the back window, which is crap. Apparently, it had stickers or something right here because the tent's not its not faded there, but this is cheap tent. This is crap that uh, it kind of sucks doing is getting the tent off. The one I did this morning, we used a steamer, and a clear sheet came off, and the tent all stayed on the window, like the tent and the glue. Got it off pretty easy. We've had worse, but... Don't use cheap tent, guys. Or don't go to a shop that's going to give you the best bottom dollar price because this is the shit you wind up with. And then we charge you damn near as much to remove the tent as it costs to retent the window. So do it right the first time. You know, tent should last 10, 15 years if you use good film. And uh, the tent we use, we give a five-year warranty on it here. But, yeah, just... And it should last beyond that five-year warranty, but don't cheap out. Go to a good shop that uses good film. Like, he's struggling with his window over here. Look at that. He's struggling. He's struggling. What up, everybody? So I had to leave the shop early today because Deb has a uh, appointment to go to, and I'm going with her. Uh, but anyway, just wanted to remind y'all, you know, to uh, use my Down for Sound affiliate link. I mean, if you're going to be shopping there already... Why not help me out a little bit? And subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed, you know. Watch an ad here and there. Watch the majority of the video. That It all helps me, guys. I'm broke right now. Uh, like, with this, like, scramble to get the ruckus and everything, my finances are tapped. And I'm, I'm going to tell you how bad it is. I've replaced my lube with body wash. Just don't tell Deb. Uh, I think she's starting to notice something because... 
She's like, why, why does my cooter smell like Old Spice? I, I don't know what to tell her, guys. But I, I mean, that's how hard times are getting right now. So, yeah, if you just take a minute to, to subscribe, use my Down for Sound affiliate link or something. Anyway, I, I'll be back, guys. Guys, I'm back. And, uh... <laughs> we at Buggies. We can't go to Florence without going to Bucky's. And I'm, I had a lot of options today, but I went for that chicken burrito again. So we're gonna eat this food and go home because it's starting to get dark. And uh, only bad thing about Bucky's you gotta eat in the damn car. <clears throat> and the wife said I dropped one thing, one, for my burrito. I basically have to stand outside like a child, like last time. I done drop the napkin in the floor and eat my burrito. So I guess I'm eat this burrito, get home. Hey, we got that brisket. Brisket. <laughs> but I'm gonna get home and uh, edit this video and try to upload it tonight. So I'll see y'all later. Peace out, guys. And as always, Bucky's on.